वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई सेल्फ केयर लिम्बा जे आई एम अ फाइनल ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम जीमर सोला अहमदाबाद टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द वॉट इज वियरिंग ऑफ इन पार्किसनिजम राइट यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड इन फार्मेकोलॉजी दैट लिवोडोपा कॉज इज वियरिंग ऑफ फिनोमिना वॉट इज ऑन एंड ऑफ फिनोमिना वाई दिस डिस्काइनेजिया इन पार्किसन डिजीज राइट we will discuss the actual mechanism behind this condition right so first you should understand the role of levodopa how levodopa act inside our brain to decrease or to uh, alleviate the symptoms of parkinsonism okay so levodopa actually it is a <coughs> pre drug or you can say levodopa crosses the blood brain barrier and uh, inside the brain this liver dopa convert into the dopamine right now this uh, dopamine actually get stored inside the vesicles when you give liver dopa it gets converted into the dopamine and this dopamine stored inside the vesicles right And now one peculiar feature of these vesicles is that these vesicles constantly secretes dopamine in the synapses right so this is the presynaptic neuron and now this one is the post synaptic right so this uh, dopamine constantly secretes the uh, secretes inside the synapses right well, now what is wearing off so first you should understand uh, how levodopa acts so levodopa as i just mentioned that it will uh, converted into the dopamine inside the brain and uh, stored in the presynaptic neuron and when the dopamine are needed in certain uh, uh, circuits inside the basal ganglia it acts right so this will decrease mainly the rigidity and a kinesia right so this is excellent drug and it is the drug of choice in the management of parkinson disease right but what happens when you start levodopa for the first 5 to 6 years it gives excellent response right it gives excellent response but as uh, you all know that uh, this parkinson parkinsonism is a neurodegenerative condition so after some time this uh, presynaptic neurons this presynaptic neurons gets died why because it is a degenerative condition so the store of dopamine decreases right so what happens after 5 to 6 years you can see there is no dopamine vesicles inside the neurons because there is less uh, overall number of uh, presynaptic neurons in a uh, later stage of parkinsonism right so what happens when you give levodopa from the outside it does not stored so it does not store it directly acts on the post synaptic neuron now one peculiar feature of this levodopa it is that it acts like a pulsatile manner as you all know that half life of levodopa is merely 1.5 hour you can say 90 minutes 1.5 hour right so what happen when you give levodopa after some time it gets metabolized completely and you uh, just uh, i have just explained that uh, in the later stage of condition no stores of dopamine available inside the brain so what happen when there is a depletion or you can say decrease uh, blood level of this levodopa in the body that causes recurrence of the parkinson disease symptoms means 
this patient experience all the neuro psychiatric symptoms first being the uh, this uh, tremors rigidity and uh, particular means cardinal symptoms of uh, this uh, parkinsonism second one most important is the depression right or uh, anxiety attacks etc so these are the uh, uh, other symptoms of uh, parkinsonism which uh, recur when there is a depletion of the dopamine inside the brain because of the damage of the this presynaptic neuron so let me tell you with the use of this this means when you start giving levodopa this is the blood level right now this is the concentration of the levodopa these are a symptom free period and this is a symptoms you can say this is off and this is on like drug is acting as you all know that uh, after some time the this uh, levodopa gets metabolized very fast and it start decreasing in the level and it also start showing the symptoms of parkinsonism right and again you give levodopa again this uh, will decrease the symptom and again the concentration decreases that along with uh, give rise to a symptoms that recur again right so this phase is called the wearing of the wearing of means recurrence of the symptoms of parkinsonism when there is decreased blood concentration of the drug right now how will you manage this wearing of condition so as i told you that t half is 1.5 hour so uh, no matter uh, how much you give the drug it will get metabolized very early or very fastly right it will get metabolized very fastly so you cannot increase the dose in this condition because whatever you give it will get metabolized and you all know that uh, stores are depleted so the uh, the the concentration or the amount which actually required to uh, maintain this uh, symptom free period is uh, very less right right so our main aim is to maintain this certain level of dopamine inside the synapse so it acts properly so for this reason we will manage this this patient as a continuous infusion of dopamine or con continuous infusion of uh, lower levodopa uh, from the outside right uh, we can use this uh, subcutaneous infusion transdermal patch right and another advice that we can give is that uh, decrease protein intake but as you all know that protein is very essential uh, for the body and why why we we uh, advise that you should not take the protein because certain amino acid will compete with the absorption of uh, this levodopa so the overall concentration of levodopa will decrease right now uh, what we can advise as actually we can advise like uh, take the drug 20 to 30 minute prior to meal right so this will eventually uh, cause less interaction with the protein this drug less interact with the protein so this is how you manage the wearing of phenomena okay. now what is on and off phenomena on and off phenomena means this uh, in early stage early stage of uh, wearing off 
you can predict you can predict when this wearing off will occur because as you all know the high half life of uh, this uh, leodopa is very short but uh, so you can predict the wearing of uh, uh, time time duration of wearing off but what happen after sometimes when there is a, a severe damage or severity of parkinson disease increases a certain mechanism occur inside the brain and that will cause this on and off phenomena now what is on and what is off phenomena on phenomena means your patient will react to the drugs means uh, when you give levodopa or any other drugs the patient will react means the symptoms will go away by giving the drug this is called the on phenomena and what is off phenomena means in this phase uh, the drug usually the drugs usually don't respond right so this is called the off phenomena on phenomena and off phenomena and in uh, uh, neurology the term called the freezing freezing means it occurs in the later stage of parkinsonism freezing means there is a, a severe stiffness or the you can say a patient falls because for there is a severe rigidity for fewer a few seconds so this is called the freezing rigidity and increase the muscle tone but it last for a very few seconds so this is called the freezing on freezing and off freezing right now okay let's talk about the dyskinesia dyskinesia in parkinsonism as i told you earlier this dyskinesia is mainly seen in patient who are taking the drug levodopa for a longer time dyskinesia never occur or uh, usually not occur in patient who are not taking the levodopa so the main reason for dyskinesia is levodopa so it is a classical side effect of uh, chronic use of levodopa now what is the actual mechanism of levodopa uh, dyskinesia right now as i told you that uh, after sometimes this stores of uh, dopamine depleted because of the death of neurons so this will there is only post synaptic neuron now this levodopa does not go and form the dopamine directly because there are no uh, or there is less uh, uh, this presynaptic neurons present inside the brain so it acts directly on the post synaptic neurons but the peculiar feature of this post synaptic neuron uh, this action of this levodopa is that it acts as a pulsatile manner now this is the reason why we have a, a dyskinesia i'll tell you later but but the reason why the dyskinesia occur because of the pulsatile manner of this uh, levodopa action now how is this occur let's say see when you give levodopa for a chronic time chronic period as you all know that inside the brain or the basal ganglia two types of uh, uh, circuits present one is gaba other is the glutamate right now the uh, pulsatile release of this uh, levodopa cause the increased action of or you can say increase the level of gabaergic activity now this activity of uh, gaba pathway are increased right do this gaba neuron mainly inhibit they are inhibitory in nature so when you inhibit a receptor for prolonged time a tendency to get the up regulation so up regulation will occur so this is the main mechanism uh, of the uh, receptor right 
when they get inhibited for a longer time it gets up regulated and which receptor gets up uh, up regulated nmda receptors and with they are excitatory in nature now these nmda receptors are high or you can say the main reason for this kinesia is super sensitization of nmda receptor in the post synaptic neuron right now what happen when you give this uh, levodopa the dyskinesia has a certain you can say threshold level which means at cert, uh, 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 in a particular concentration let's say this is the uh, threshold for dyskinesia now what is dyskinesia this dyskinesia dyskinesia is the involuntary movement of the uh, limbs uh, twitching vibrating then there is a coriform movement or athetosis uh, various uh, movements like right? twitching etc okay so this is the threshold when you tend to increase the dose of this uh, levodopa when it reaches the threshold level it gets stimulated overly and this over stimulation causes the dyskinesia why because the super sensitization of the nmda receptor and cause the excitatory activity excitation so the dyskinesia the main mechanism behind this there is a increase uh, nmda receptor sensitivity of the nmda receptor increase so how will you manage you have to block this nmda receptor so you are supposed to give nmda antagonist or other drug called the amantadine uh, this is the treatment of a drug of choice in a patient of uh, dyskinesia in parkinsonism why this dyskinesia occur because uh, when you give in, when you increase the dose of uh, dopamine this receptor uh, sensitized because there is a super sensitization occur so overall you have to manage patient like uh, you you cannot uh, afford to uh, stop giving levodopa because it is the treatment of choice in a patient of parkinsonism because tremor acidity and akinesia is a very important feature uh, a very important uh, because tremors you cannot uh, stop the levodopa in a, in a patient of parkinsonism just because of dyskinesia because the main problem of morbidity is these three cardinal symptoms right rigidity and all so this dyskinesia usually managed with the use of amantadine this was all about the dyskinesia so in this video we have discussed the wearing of on and off phenomena and third one was the dyskinesia i am sure that you like this video and you have got to learn something new so thank you very much for watching till the last and please like this video comment and share to your colleagues and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching this video